of the biggest highlights from Monday night's Emmy Awards was when director Glenn Weiss got down on one knee during his acceptance speech and proposed yes. to his girlfriend, Jan. That was a really <laughs> sweet moment. Yes. Now, the audience loved the surprise, but you know what? Glenn, he got two baby girls, and they didn't like it. Mm -mm. According to the New York Post, his two daughters, who are 17 and 21, were completely shocked and blindsided by their dad's proposal. Sources say they feel like it was thoughtless and that he should have been a man and given them a heads up. Ooh -hoo! Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Wait, how old are, are his daughters? They're not baby girls. They're, they're 17, 17 and 21. They don't like so that bitch. Grown. That's what yeah. it is. All right. That's... <laughs> they, they... Yeah, that's... That's, what, that's what I'm sensing. It yeah. certainly feels like there's some tension where he couldn't bring it up to them because that is a new woman that's going to be in their life and a family member, so the conversation has to be had. Right. Something is missing there. There's tension there, for sure. Or, you think they have to do that? You think that, that when you're a grown man with grown children, you have to tell? Let them know that there's gonna be a new family member in the household, yes. And I'm not saying it always happens, because Mama Mai busted that on me, but I am saying that I would have liked that, you right. know? I just feel like, to me, that feels so entitled. I would never ask somebody to tell me what you're doing with your love and your life. I would just be happy for you because you're happy. And I, and maybe he wanted the surprise not just for the audience, but for everyone. Maybe it's a surprise for everyone. I get it when, is, when Israel and I were getting engaged. The kids saw the ring way before me. They knew everything. But I, I, don't, I don't remember getting that from my stepdad. And we were all surprised when it happened at dinner. And we were super excited and happy for my mom. And I never felt once, I was 13, I never felt like, you didn't tell me. I feel like, I just feel like there's a sense of entitlement in this new generation where it feels like you needed to get my permission. Like, that's the parent, you're the child. Ooh. And I actually agree with Lonnie because I feel like if they truly liked this woman, they probably wouldn't have had a problem with it. True. So it's actually telling. They actually probably have an issue. And I mean, because it was a positive moment for their dad, and now they're putting a little negativity on it. So yeah. I don't. I kind of agree know. too. What if he didn't? What if he wanted to change his mind? You know what I mean? Yeah. What if he didn't win the award? You, you know, know what I mean? I'm like, I wonder if he didn't win, would he, would have, he have asked her? Girl, oh. you lucky maybe, he won. Maybe okay. he would have asked her privately somewhere else. Maybe he had a different. Maybe he wasn't planning on including you. Maybe he didn't have it planned at all and just had it in his pocket and was like. Yo, I'm gonna do it right now. This is my moment. Let me just go. Yeah. You don't know, but I think it feels very disloyal to me, even if you felt that way, to publicly say that about publicly your Publicly say it. So I feel like don't like two that wrongs girl. don't make a right. Even if you felt like, like he should have told you, you coming out and saying that after his big win, super But it whack. was funny, though, because when it was happening, it was like everybody started, because he said, you know, I, I there's a reason why yet. I don't call oh, you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I, there's a reason why I don't call you my girlfriend. And so then she just got up. She yeah. started walking. Like, he was like, I ain't <laughs> asked yet. I do. I ain't yeah. asked you yet. I noticed that it is a, a generational thing. I think older yeah. people from the last gen, they don't feel like they have to tell you things. Yeah. Like my right. family has. All my uncles and aunts, if they're gonna marry somebody new or they're gonna buy a, a, a new business it. move, all of a sudden you just find out that they did it, you know? <laughs> my mom married, remarried like four years ago and I just found out like a year and a half ago. I had no idea that she remarried, but she didn't feel like it was shade. She really was just like, why, why I need to tell you? You know okay. what I'm like? Well, because he's my stepdad. But the way she <laughs> thought, right? Yeah. But you're grown. It's not like you're living in the house with kids. I mean, I know, but, but I, this is different. There's a 17-year-old in the mix. Yeah. 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 I'm grown, but even if I was 17, I think I just want to know. It makes me feel like you care. I don't have to know, but it makes you me feel like you care that I'm going to welcome a new stepdad into my life. Or, and I'd like to get to know him. That's what I wonder if the girls are feeling. Or maybe he knew that they didn't really that's like true her. Too. They so like that. He's like, I'm that's, doing, that's gonna that's do me true. anyway.